triggered the Big Bang. This has been the biggest question in astronomy ever since its proposal by Georges Lemaitre in 1927. Perhaps the biggest issue with this question is that we have no way of actually seeing the Big Bang. But that hasn't stopped NASA from trying. NASA's newest invention, named the James Webb Telescope, is designed to look so far into space that we will be able to capture images from the earliest moments of the universe. We have never even come close to a telescope with this much power, so scientists are expecting that these new findings will completely change the way we think about space. So, just how powerful is the James Webb Telescope? And most importantly, how will this futuristic technology give us our best bet at discovering the origins of the universe? After 20 years and $9.7 billion of development, the James Webb Telescope is finally in space. That may seem like a big number, but when you think about how powerful this telescope really is, then it starts to make a lot more sense. The James Webb has the ability to help scientists look back 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. This will grant them access to so much more information about how stars are formed and what makes all cosmic entities work. Having a better understanding of the Big Bang events will allow scientists to finally get a glimpse of the early universe. But how exactly can this miracle machinery help us wrap our heads around the Big Bang? Well, first, you have to know why understanding the Big Bang is so important. What is it about this cosmic event that always gets scientists so fired up and excited? The basic answer is that it's because the Big Bang is what started it all. If you want to understand the universe, you need to understand how it started. For all we know about the Big Bang, there is so much more still in the dark about this historic event that started, well, everything. Understanding the Big Bang is understanding space, science and life. You can see why scientists would want to have a firm grasp of it. To get a better idea of how the James Webb Telescope will look so far back in time, let's take a second to look at the Andromeda Galaxy which is the closest big galaxy to our very own Milky Way galaxy. Andromeda is close to us, but it is still millions of miles away from home. Yet, you can still view it with your naked eye or with the help of telescopes. But when you view the Andromeda galaxy, you aren't actually looking at it in the present time. What you are seeing is how it was 2.2 million years ago. The reason for this is because it takes that amount of time for light to travel all the way from Andromeda to Earth. It's sort of like time travelling without ever having to leave our own planet. Because of this, scientists have been able to look at far more distant galaxies, which means they are going further and further back in time. The more distant the galaxy, the longer it takes for light to reach us and, therefore, the further back in time you can see. As of now, the most distant galaxy ever discovered, GNZ11, was spotted by the Hubble telescope and gave NASA a great look at it a long, long time ago. To many, GNZ11 looks nothing more than an unremarkable red blob. But to scientists with their incredible instruments, they are seeing light from 13.4 billion years ago, which is about 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. In terms of space exploration, it doesn't get much closer than 400 million years after the Big Bang. Hubble's discoveries have allowed scientists to see how stars are formed and have led them to question some of the time-tested assumptions made about space and stars. Now, as great as the Hubble is, you need to remember that the James Webb Telescope is, in many ways, light years ahead of the Hubble. It leaves the iconic Hubble in the dust in terms of what it can see and in terms of its tremendous power. For example, take the fact that the Hubble Telescope primarily observes the universe at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. 
This is much different than the James Webb Telescope, which will primarily use infrared wavelengths. The reason NASA and the scientists behind the James Webb decided to focus on infrared wavelengths is because more distant objects become more highly redshifted and their light is pushed from UV and optical into the near infrared. Observations of these distant objects, like the first galaxies formed in the universe for example, requires an infrared telescope. For this reason, the James Webb is not really considered to be a replacement of the famous Hubble. Instead, think of it as its predecessor that will give us new and different views of the universe than we could see before. Another reason the new James Webb is such a big deal is because of the sheer size of its mirror. Coming in at 6.5 metres tall, or 22 feet, the 18 gold-plated hexagonal segments that complete the mirror is almost three times the size of Hubble's mirror. Even better, James Webb has instruments on board that will let scientists actually probe the chemical makeup of the galaxies it points to. Not only will the teams on Earth be able to see these newly formed galaxies, but they will also be able to study them in unparalleled ways. It'll answer many questions such as how certain elements are made and how clouds of dust and gas collapse to form stars and the planetary systems around them. In essence, James Webb will have the ability and power to watch entire galaxies form. Of course, this isn't the only thing the James Webb Telescope is doing. In fact, James Webb was made for exploration tasks far bigger than just looking back to the period when the Big Bang happened. James Webb is also going on a long search for observations about life beyond Earth. The telescope is going to be studying the atmospheres of thousands of exoplanets floating around the galaxy. James Webb will be examining the habitable zones of distant stars, looking for regions that could contain the building blocks of life. This isn't because we are planning to rocket away from Earth and plant our flag in any of these planets. Instead, James Webb is going to study these Earth-like worlds to get a better grip on why life happens and what leads to the miracle of existence we all take for granted. When you think about all that James Webb can accomplish, you now understand why so many people consider it to be the most important thing NASA has done in decades. Not only will the telescope get a good look at distant planets that can sustain life, but it would also take a look so far back in time that it will completely change the way we think about the universe. There is still some time before we get back the first images from James Webb, but if you are interested in seeing some of the most mind-blowing discoveries from the Hubble telescope, then make sure to click the video on your screen for our next episode. I'll see you there.